ain't you a technomancer, right? Get the hell out of here. You surge around here, you're gonna fuck up my baby for good. Ugh, just like you don't spontaneously combust, we don't spontaneously surge. Is that you on the poster? Yeah, name's Amelia Reacher. We're discoverers one and all, like father, like daughter. Why? What's it to you? Well, me and my men need to get to a site on one of Aurora's shadow paths. Heard you'd make that happen. I wish they gave me a heads up a Mancer was coming along. But orders are orders. I can take you whenever you're ready. First rover trip? Yeah, first time this far from Ophir. Nice! How's it feel? Exciting, I guess. A little terrifying to go this far without having the protection of a shadow path, but life's about the adventure, isn't it? Took the words out of my mouth. That's why I love my job so much. Life's too damn short to play it safe. You guys doing okay? Nervous about the fights we're gonna face? The fights? What fights? I did not leave my home and laboratory to foray into battle, child. Did someone tell me this? Because I don't recall being... We needed a doctor with us, Scott. I just... I... Yes, I understand. I do. But you know, fighting is... It's a dangerous... You know, people get hurt and I... I guess that's why, I mean, of course, I will care for you, but no fighting means no wounds to you. Yeah, I, I can't lie. Yeah, it scares me. How big's the fight we're looking at? Aurora's troops and Technomancers. We'll have to be tactical about it. Hit them in small groups, since there's not a lot of us, but we stick to that plan, and we should be fine. Sure, yeah, I I'm sure once we get there and we get to doing and not just thinking, I I'll be fine. It's the thinking that wreaks havoc on Say my first rodeo, Lieutenant. Being on a rover is pretty neat and all, but still, no different from past missions. Hit an enemy, get hit back. Find ourselves down deep in Shit Creek and then wait for backup. In other words, it always goes tits up. But when you've been in the bad long enough, you get used to it. Did you just call my baby pretty neat? That's it? Pretty neat? I mean, I didn't mean it's swell. Real swell. Holy shit! I think you guys plucked this fucker from the farm before he was ripe! It's huge. Really just shows how big a scale Aurora thinks on. Alright, let's focus on finding the tunnel entrance. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to bug you, but I gotta talk to you about something. Look, uh, Lieutenant, maybe it's just because I'm not used to life in the city, but... Cut to the point, soldier. I just, I, I think we're being tailed, sir. I think someone's been watching us, but I don't, I don't know why. <sighs> All right. Any ideas how to figure out who it is? Hell yeah. I ain't no hunter for nothing, sir. I'd say we could leave from, say, the barracks or something and head towards the exchange. But, you know, at casual, like it's just another day. We just treat it like we're out for a walk. Then, once we know we're being followed, we lead him to a trap down a dead-end road. And pow! You've got him. Or her. Whoever it is. That's one way to go. I don't know. Gotta be an easier way. But let me think about it. We'll talk later. about the ASC. Why? You work for them? This an interrogation? Or... Look, all I know is what everybody else knows. They protect abundance from enemies and rebels. That the right answer? Do I earn my merit badge? David, listen to me. I'm not... That's what they all say.
Those structures look colonial. Dome's gotta be close. What are we looking for here, Lieutenant? These are strange structures. I've never seen them. Are you looking for something in particular? I don't remember receiving an order to snoop around here. I'm not sure the captain will like it. Anyway, it's just my opinion. Technomancer from abundance. And I heard you were all nearly extinct. What are you doing here? What do you want? I want to come in, and you're gonna help me. No, I don't think I am. I told you you would. Don't know why you didn't believe me. 
Here I come. Dome's in amazing condition, though I doubt Aurora's been taking care of it. I wonder where the relic the merchants talked about is, or even how they found out about it. Well, it looks like we found the relic. Doesn't look like much, but the style of writing looks familiar. Even if I don't have a clue what it means. You able to decipher it? What is it? Is it even real? We haven't been able to decipher it yet, but yes, no doubt it's real. Not sure if I can tell you anything else about it. I don't know what you're planning to do with it, and I don't want to offend you by talking about sacred matters, but... You know some knowledge should only stay among technomancers, right? So, be careful, please. I know what I'm doing. What is it? It looks so old. We should show this to the captain. It must be important, judging from how well guarded this place is. And it's an I don't think the captain will be interested in it. This is one of those ancient objects technomancers collect. Mercy. They will die if he does not help them. What's going on? The Aurora men locked them up to dig. But the tunnels 
have killed many of them, and they do not want to die. They will never go back to the city. They will die of thirst, or be burnt by the eye of father, son. They know they are only beasts, but if the man frees them, they will not help the Aurora man dig, and they will run away. They will not die. They will remember the Hammer Man forever. The man must have mercy. They will die if he does not help them. Better get going. They will never forget the Hammer Man. Never. They thank him. must have been using them to make explosives to help out with the drilling. Guess it would work for me too. One charge should be big enough to close the tunnel down. Just gotta be careful. But with the detonator and explosives, I should be able to set it off remotely and make sure I don't blow my damn head off. You really believe that they'll have left enough to blow up the tunnels here? You'd be very smart of them. I need chemicals to clear out the access to the tunnels. They have the ingredients necessary to collapse them. Fortunately, it seems that they were doing construction work on this shadow path. I'm sure we'll find what we need. If you say so. I didn't know the Technomancer was also playing a part of Sanatology. Technomancer's abilities are extraordinary, and their knowledge, too. I'm so lucky. I need some explosives to trigger a chain reaction.
Perfect. Got everything I need to shut this access point down for good. All set. Just need to get back to the rover before setting it all off. got no way into Ophir anymore. <laughs> Mission accomplished. The intensity of the vibrations is soothing, hypnotic. They make me so tired. Dear old Scott, my machine's caressing you with rumbles. Sweet talking you. Can't go falling asleep on a battlefield, though. Thanks to you, the city won't ever have to face another attack like the last. All those people wounded because of those broken shutters. Just thinking about it, I feel nauseous. It's probably the rover. Gotta get used to the vibrations. Most people fucking puke their ass out their first time. No, I meant the thought of all the... Never mind. I really don't get it. This is war, right? Aurora shows up and blows up part of our city, and how do we retaliate? Send a handful of people like us? I don't get it. You ever do anything but bitch? Uh, successful mission. Tripping a rover. Hell, if I was you, I'd be grinning ear to ear. Why don't you do that? Bitch less, smile more. Mansark? I've got, uh, something to ask you. What can I do for you? I... Well, I don't know if you know, but my dad died when I was young. Actually, he disappeared. He never came back from one of his explorations 15 years ago. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah, I don't want your pity, okay? It's not about that. What I mean is, I've never managed to find out what kind of mission he was on and where he had gone. I know he was close to Scott. He was probably even his best friend. That old crazy man doesn't want to tell me anything. He says he wants to protect me. Look, I'll just cut to the point. I was wondering if you'd maybe look in his dispensary for me. See if you could find any of my father's notes, or letters, or... I don't know, Amelia. Scott's like a father to me. And besides, you know he's almost always there. How would I even do it? I'm not asking you to break in or steal nothing. Just keep him busy. And while you are there, you know, just flip through files. I'm sure he kept letters between him and my dad. He's not one to throw anything away. All right. I'll try to make him leave, but if I don't find anything... Yeah, yeah, I won't blame you. But I know that you're going to find something. Can't open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. Hello, Mancer. Hello. At your command, Lieutenant. So what is it you want to talk about? Look, uh, Lieutenant, maybe it's just because I'm not used to life in the city, but... Cut to the point, soldier. I just... I, I think we're being tailed, sir. I think someone's been watching us, but I don't... I, I don't know why. <sighs> All right. Any ideas how to figure out who it is? Hell yeah. I ain't no hunter for nothing, sir. I'd say we could leave from, say, the barracks or something and head towards the exchange. But, you know, at casual, like it's just another day. We just treat it like we're out for a walk. Then, once we know we're being followed, we lead him to a trap down a dead-end road. And pow! You've got him. Or her. Whoever it is. That's one way to go. All right. Why not? Let's try it. See what happens. Hello. 
Hello, Scott. My captain told me that she wanted to see you. Is it related to you? Are you sick? Uh, no. Not that I know of. She didn't tell me why. Oh, I... well, should I take my pouch then? It's an important question. I should still take it, though, but it's a little heavy. All, all right, I'm leaving without it. I think I have a problem with going through your friend's things. I hope whatever you're looking for, it's worth it. I'm trying to find information about the past. It's personal, okay? Forget it. I couldn't understand. The officers, they aren't like us. They're above all. Hello, Mancer. Hello. I found some of your father's letters. I knew it. Tell me. Most of the correspondence was friendly. They were very close. However, there was some tension between them over time. Some letters gloss over an expedition that they had done together, but what surprised me the most is when your father talks about a boy who was actually Scott's son. The last letter I found is a bit bizarre. I didn't really understand what he meant. What did he mean? Do you remember? Your dad begged Scott to stop the madness, warning that his wife's divorce was only the beginning of what he would lose if he couldn't face the truth. That it was too late for his son. He seemed to think Scott was on the verge of self-destruction. It's true that it's rather mysterious. Scott, a son. Did you know? No. He never told me about him. He obviously lost him. No doubt it's still a touchy subject. We have to find out what this is all about. You have to ask his wife. Did my father really mean to interfere in his family drama? Maybe that's why he disappeared? Please, Zechariah! I'm sorry, Dip. You Angela Seeker, Scott's wife? Ex-wife. <laughs> what did the drunk do this time? Nothing bad. He's a friend. A friend? Ah. Uh, right. Just looking for some information on one of his friends. Mark. And your son. Get out. Get out! What right do you have coming around digging up the past? Listen, I think Mark's disappearance was tied to Scott's research, and your son. And I know you were a researcher too, so I'm hoping you'll be able to help me understand the research better. Maybe even find your old friend. The drive to dissect even the smallest details, to try to understand how and why. That thirst once drove me too, but I let it go. There was no well deep enough to satisfy that thirst. I was never as involved as Scott, in truth. I began to give up my work once we had our son. The focus of my research had been the study of animal mutations with the goal of vaccine production. And always wondered if... Because of that, I had been the conduit that carried the infection to my son. Scott was more interested in genetics and its medical applications. The second our son showed signs, though, I completely stopped my research. If I hadn't told Scott, he would never even have noticed. And his answer was to swear he could find a cure. He really believed that with his work in genetics and mine in vaccination, that we could save our son. But I... I was too devastated to help him. All I wanted to do was spend every second with our son before he was taken away from us. Which, of course, happened. And Scott and Mark took off on a wild goose chase that he was sure would end in a cure. Ha, <laughs> I didn't get it. There wasn't anything he needed that he didn't have access to in his lab. And while he was off, I was alone and waited and waited and eventually got tired of it. So I asked for a divorce. And then they finally came back with nothing to show for it. 
But soon Mark took off again to find what I guess were raw materials for research that Scott swore he couldn't find here. And that was the last I saw of him. That's all I know. I never found out what their research was on, and honestly, I just want to forget it all. Please, now. Can you leave me be? Now I can feel for what the old man's been through. I've known some folks myself who went through the same thing. A terrible thing. Breaks couples up, you know. The stress of never being able to have kids again. Why never again? Because they sterilize families who've had a mutant to make sure they don't have no more. It's sad, but it's the only way to protect our own kind. At least now I understand why the professor's so... You know... Hello, Mancer. Hello. I talked to Scott's ex-wife. So? What did she say? It's an awful story. Her son... Anyway, their son was struck by mutation. They took him away from them, of course, but it made Scott go crazy. And he was convinced that he could find a remedy. He asked for your father's help. So they left together, and were gone for a long time. Their exploration apparently didn't lead to anything concrete for the boy, and Scott descended into madness. And then one day, Mark left. His ex thinks that it was to bring back something useful for his research, and he never came back. Shit. So my father's disappearance is related to that poor kid? It's really awful what they must have gone through. That explains a lot about why he's so crazy, and also why he behaves as if we were his kids. Thank you, Zack. That doesn't answer all my questions, far from it. But I have a better grasp of what happened. My father disappeared by helping his best friend, who was going through a rough patch and wanted to heal his child. It's a sad but beautiful story. Isn't it? I'm gonna... I'm gonna think about all this. Thank you again. You're not like other girls, are you? Is that supposed to be a compliment? Or are you being a wise-ass? You just... don't talk like the rest. I drive a rover. I don't sit around sipping brightly colored drinks with brainiacs talking about the philosophies of life. You don't like the way I talk? Take a number and shove it up your educated ass. Take any one of them uppity shits and put them in a rover, driving through sandstorms and seeing crazy shit every fucking day, and tell me they won't start talking a little more colorfully. Easy, killer. I'm not judging you. It doesn't bother me. I was just saying. You were a fucking rogue before, so unless the army made you soft and... Sorry. Just a little defensive. Hear that shit a lot.
Ready to try your plan out? Ha! Yeah, absolutely, Lieutenant! All right. Just out on a stroll, right? Yeah, yeah, just a stroll. He won't suspect anything. Let's head out this way. We should probably go right now. Don't tell me we're following that in. Come on now, Dane. It's not very nice. We can head down this alley and over towards the archives. We'll pass security, and there's a chance he might get suspicious, but I think we'll be fine. The opponents of the assembly are becoming more and more numerous, and more and more wrecked. I'm not now, but we gained the tail of so Let's just keep heading this way a bit further, up. I think, and I'll prove Come I was on. right. You know that's Sir. Bullshit. Don't believe everything you see. There we go, he's following us. Just gotta keep him with us until we get to the dead end street and pass his check. We'll corner him there. Then he's right there. We just gotta get him in there and we'll have him trapped. We'll finally know more spies. Who the hell are you? Why are you following us? You got nowhere to run. You're surrounded. Find something that'll help explain why he's tailing us. What the hell is this? Looks like a notebook. And I'm willing to bet it's Alan Manser behind all this shit. Looks like the little rat reported me to the ASC. What? Really? Why would another Manser tell on you? And for what? You're a great lieutenant, sir. You haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, well, let's just say Alan's not exactly a fan. This time, a little shit's gone too far. He's gonna give me an explanation. What could that Technomancer have said to put the ASC's crosshairs on you? You seem like a pretty nice guy. Hey, watch your mouth! Don't ever hint at the lieutenant doing anything wrong. Whatever they say he did, it's just political bullshit. Of course. I'm sure this kind of thing doesn't happen to you often. Hypothetically, what would happen if I reported you? I think he'd get sacked. That's not funny. Reporting someone is a serious claim. Both of you shut up. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the w Zachariah Rogue. They haven't sent you to die at war yet? A damn disappointment. The little bird handed me some notes about a spy authored by a little rat. The rat should leave me alone and cut the shit out. Immediately. I'm not sure I like your tone, Rogue. I have more important things to do than waste my time with the likes of you. I should have known you wouldn't own up to your own lies. That would take courage, which you're lacking. A rogue will never live up to the reputation of a real mancer, and it's high time someone showed you. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Oh! <laughs> 
this madness at once. Have your senses left you, Zachariah? Is this how I taught you? A technomancer are fighting with students. I'm sorry, Master. He started it. What did you want me to do? As for you, Alan, your constant provocations will one day find you an early grave. Don't fancy me a fool, for the fool is you. Try something like that again, Alan. Please, try it again when no one's around to bail your sorry ass out. At your command, Lieutenant. How are you, Zachariah? I'm fine. And you? Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I've returned, Great Master, with the relic from the Aurora evacuation. It's a tablet filled with text, and I don't have a clue how to decipher it. A glorious day. You have no idea what this means, Zachariah. The language is indeed difficult, and most no longer have the knowledge or ability to understand it. Most, but not me. I will begin deciphering immediately. We will know soon enough the vast wealth of secrets it holds. Sean was certainly right in his appraisal of you. Your worth has already proven to be infinitely valuable. A word of warning, Zachariah. Words spreading about your missions. Things you've been able to accomplish, filled with troubling details that imply you have a mole in your midst. If there is an ASC spy amongst your ranks, he will not only know our secret, but eventually share it back to his master. We will, in no uncertain terms, be lost. All will be lost. So take care, and take care of it, sooner rather than later. Thank you for the warning. I assure you, I will get to the root of this. A word of warning, Zachariah. Words spreading about your missions. Things you've been able to... If there is an A... Thank you for the warning. Are you so sure that it's a spy? Indeed. The details of your mission were so specific that they were assuredly gained firsthand. So unless you are spreading the information yourself, who else is left but Captain Eliza and your men? Whoever it is, make sure they see nothing else. Ensure that our secret is kept safe. Lieutenant? Already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Captain, all Aurora tunnels were destroyed. If they're gonna get back into the city, they'll have to come up with another way. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Lieutenant. Find Ryan and get your pay. It was well earned. Colonel Ian Manser came by looking for you. Hope this isn't going to be a habit, Lieutenant. 
His problems aren't yours anymore. You're part of my unit now. We clear? Of course. I'll go see him on my own time, not yours, Captain. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go. Thank <laughs> you. 